Welcome to the AACS Daily News. The Hebron Food Pantry is opening up a new Wednesday pantry that's specifically for U.S. veterans. We spoke with Director Michelle Birch to learn more. We are very excited to announce that we are starting a new pantry. Um, we have three pantries currently. We do a senior pantry on Tuesday mornings. Uh, we have an open pantry, which is open to all of those in need in our seven communities that we service. And we also have a working person's food pantry, which is for those that are working and on unemployment. We started this open pantry in September of 2018, and our numbers have gone up quite a bit since then. Um, that definitely was another need in the community, people on disability and people that uh, you know didn't qualify, that weren't working um, and weren't old enough for the senior pantry. So that's gone up quite a bit. I have probably 50 new people every single month. So our newest pantry is going to be uh, for veterans only. Uh, it'll be serviced by veterans. So the veterans are going to be volunteering here um, and it is just going to be for veterans um, on Wednesday evenings from 5 to 7 p.m. I went to a meeting with some veterans um, after their moving wall. They had like this whole committee. They're starting a new uh, Friends of Attleboro Area Veterans. So they have this committee and they wanted to keep the momentum going to help veterans um, and decided that they kind of feel uncomfortable coming to the food pantry and that they might feel more comfortable actually coming with veterans here and you know, in their own time instead of with other people because they, you know, we want people to feel comfortable and, and ask for assistance and we don't want them to not come just because they don't want to, you know, be here when other people are here. So we decided that maybe their own time would be would be a good thing for, for them. There seems to be a lot of, like, talk about it, a lot of buzz about it. Um, the meeting I had was actually with veterans you know, asking me if we could open up another pantry for them. So they can, they approached me. So I am thinking that there is a need for it. We um, just celebrated our 20th year in uh, business here. Um, I wish we didn't have to be in business, but uh, there absolutely is a need. Um, the economy is still, they claim it's getting better, but uh, from what I can see, it's uh, it's still a struggle for a lot of people. And we're happy to be here. We're happy to um, you know be able to service as 315 families and individuals every single week. We're really we're just happy to be able to do that. Volunteers right now, I'm actually pretty good. Just always monetary donations are good. Um, just because we can certainly buy more food at the Greater Boston Food Bank if we need it. Um, we actually. Um, could use bread. Um, I don't know if uh, there's anybody you know out there that uh, knows of a uh, place where we could uh, wholesale or something that we could get bread from, but that's about the only thing we really lack at the moment. Um, sliced bread and other things like that. We do get some from all of the stores we pick up at, um, but not as much as we could use. They can send a check to Hebron Food Pantry. Um, it's P.O. Box 92 in Attleboro. Um, they can come down and see us, see what we do here, and just drop it off. We are located at 11 Sanford Street in Attleboro. We are in Centenary United Methodist Church down in the basement. Uh, there's a ramp that goes down to the basement of the building. We are right across the street from the YMCA. So we are right on the corner of Sanford Street and um, North Main Street. That's it for today's update. You can watch all of our content by visiting our website, doubleacs.com, by downloading the AACS mobile app, or if you have a Roku, you can search for the AACS Roku channel. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.